There are these places around the world where there are these concentrations of people who are not only living a long time, but they're living a very robust old age. They're the healthy centenarians. And now they're actually super centenarians. And those are the people that are 110 and over. But he found these pockets of uh, long-lived people in Okinawa, uh, around the Mediterranean, in Costa Rica, and Loma Linda, California. You say to yourself, why Loma Linda, California? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. So Okinawa is pretty renowned for its uh, older population. It's a series of islands off the coast of Japan. And the older people there have a very healthy lifestyle, and they eat lots of vegetables, lots of very multicolored vegetables. They eat a kind of uh, tofu there that's higher in protein than the tofu that we usually find here. They do eat a small amount of meat, but it's more like a condiment sprinkled over their rice than the big slab of meat that Americans tend to have on their plate. And they drink a lot of uh, jasmine green tea. Green tea has some wonderful antioxidant properties. And there's no retirement in their culture. This idea that you work to 65 and then you stop working. Uh, granted, a lot of people are farmers, so and they live in kind of a rural setting. But they, in their culture, there's, no, there's not this idea of retirement. And they have physical exercise built into their daily life. Everybody walks everywhere. Uh, one of the, uh, the other things about Okinawa is that the old people sit on the floor. So if you think about a 90-year-old sitting on the floor, getting up and down from the floor eight or nine times a day, that's a lot of really great flexible flexibility exercise, as well as uh, maintaining strength exercise. They get together with their friends and family every day. There's a visiting period every day where they expect to be visited, and they go and visit. So that's a lovely way to keep their social connectivity. This is another concept that I just love. It's uh, hari hachi bu, which means to eat until you're 80% full. And I think this could be one of the most wonderful exercises that, as Americans, we could learn how to do, push ourselves away from the table before we're actually full, because it takes a while for the brain to get the message from the stomach that it's full. So instead of uh, the, you know, the clean plate club, we could concentrate a little bit more on paying attention to when we feel full, uh, before we feel full, to stop eating before we feel full and let our stomachs have a chance to, to communicate to our brain that we've had enough food. There is a special ceremony when they're 97 years old that celebrates their second childhood. So can you imagine having enough people to have in your culture a special ceremony that when you're 97 years old, you get to celebrate with all your friends and family.